Ever since I was a little girl, I felt uncomfortable with the big differences in life. Why is it that I grew up in a prosperous region with supportive parents and the chance to fulfill my potential while others had to put all their energy in simply surviving? It's not that I deserved it, I was just lucky. So I made a promise to myself to be the very best I could be and to give a voice to the qualities of others because I believe in the potential of everyone. And it frustrates me if we don't use that potential and connect it to improve life together. That drove me to become a builder of bridges, literally and figuratively. For two years now, I am a director at Heymans, one of the biggest construction companies in the Netherlands. And I see the building industry as a playing field with great opportunities. Because there's a lot of expertise and hardworking people there, but it's not always well connected right now. So there's a lot of different expertise, yeah, people, disciplines, uh, keeping, uh, keeping the head down and sometimes forget to look at the whole. So who takes responsibility? And to me, that feels like wasting potential. I encourage people to look up from their expertise and work together, because I'm sure that will help us finding the opportunities that really make a difference. And I'm here today to tell you about one project that shows us a great example of that. It's almost like digging gold in a place you would never think we would find it. Actually, we're talking about a sewage system. Did you know there's 100,000 kilometers of sewage piping under the ground throughout the Netherlands? That's two times around the globe. And did you know we all flush away 120 liters of wastewater through that system every day? We think it's filthy and we want to get rid of it very quickly. People see it as unusable, but that's a misunderstanding. Because did you know the average temperature of sewage water is 18 degrees? I would really call that warm water, wouldn't you? And there's a big need for that every day. The funny thing is, oh, I forget to tell you, if we were to reuse the sewage water and harness the heat from it, it would save us a lot of energy, up to 30%. The funny thing is, at Heimans we've built a lot of sewer systems, but we never thought about using the potential of the water inside. Not until we started working together with two different companies. A German company, Frank, that produces plastic pipes and has experience in retrieving heat from the fluids inside, and a Belgian firm, Sokea. They know everything about concrete pipes. Actually, we brought them together to work on a certain project, but combining our different fields of expertise, we suddenly got inspired by a bigger goal, retrieving heat from, from, from wastewater. And together, we developed the Hydrea Therm Pipe. The Hydrea is a sewer pipe that retrieves heat from wastewater. It's a big pipe, 1.60 meters wide, and it consists of two shells. The outer shell is the structural part. It's made from concrete. The inner shell has a heat exchanger in it, and that heat exchanger contains fresh water that uses the sewage water as a heating element. So the sewage water stays in the pipe, and the heat exchanger transfers the heated clean water to the place where you want to use that heat, like in your house. 150 meters of Hydrea, Hydrea therm pipe is enough to deliver heat to 100 households. So that's a big saving in the use of fossil fuels, but it will save us money too. Potentially 250 euros per year for every household. And we're talking about a big opportunity knowing that a quarter of the Dutch sewer system has to be replaced in the next 10 years. So let's think big. If we would replace the sewer system in Amsterdam, we could deliver enough heat 
for 70,000 houses or swimming pools or offices or industries, whatever you want. So isn't it amazing that something we see as waste can turn into something so valuable? And to me, the example of the Hydrea shows us what can happen if we find the opportunities uh, making use of different potential. In fact, it's a simple idea. Some of the parts were already there, some of them not. We only had to connect our expertise to make it work. And this is the kind of bridge building that I'm so passionate about. And I really think this brings us a step closer to building a sustainable and energy neutral city. There's still one hurdle to take. Several parties, like a municipality and a water board, have shown their interest in the Hydrea already. But we haven't found a place for applying the system yet. The thing is, there's no contractor that owns a sewage system and delivers energy at the same time. So what we need is partners who are willing to step out of their own box and connect their different stakes to serve a higher goal. That, again, is a request for bridge builders. I believe real breakthroughs in the built environment will occur when we set higher goals and connect different expertise. I believe in the value of building bridges among people and their ideas, because together we create tomorrow's world. Thank you. <laughs>